to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to paint a watercolor cloud. This is a great tutorial for anyone who's a beginner to watercolor who wants to learn some basic techniques that can really help them grow their watercolor skills. In the description I will have a link to all of the products that I use in this video as well as a link to my blog where you can find very specific details on the paint colors I use and other things like that. All right. If you're new to this channel, before I go, if you're new to this channel, click that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Alright, let's get started. So today I'm going to show you how to be painting a cloud. Just a cloud, we're not going to even do a background. I want to show you just simply how to paint a cloud. So we're going to start with a very light wash. So this means a lot of water. And then I added in just a little bit of blue and then just a little bit of black. If you want any specific color details, you can head over to my blog where I'll have all the list of all the colors I used as well as all the products that I used for this. So we are going to start. I am looking at a reference photo, which I really recommend doing if you're trying to paint from an idea that you had just to give you some basis. So we're just going to start down and with this color, we are just going to create the shape of the cloud that we want. Now I hope you can see this color. <laughs> I might end up doing just a little bit darker so that you can actually see what I'm doing because you want it not to have a lot of color. You want this to be very translucent, but when it dries, it's going to show up on your page more than obviously if you had nothing there and more than you can see it. So we're just kind of creating some lumps, giving it that cloud-like feel. I'm making it longer on one end and then shorter on the other. Kind of giving it some curves at the bottom as well. Right, and so while this is completely wet, I want it to stay wet, I'm going to add a little bit more blue to my palette. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of black just to kind of give it that darker feel. And then I'm going to dab this in at the bottom, a little bit on the sides. And I'm just tapping. I'm not even using like actual brush strokes and letting it just bleed into my cloud. Just a little bit on the sides, just like that, to kind of give it around. And I'm going to go back through. I just want it to be a little bit more full at the top. Just like that. All right, and we're going to let this completely dry and we're going to see where the color is if we want to add any more detail or if this is good to go. And now we're just going to add some last detail to this cloud. If you like it like this, I think it's perfectly fine to leave it just completely um, plain like this, especially if this is not going to be the focal point of your painting, it is definitely okay just to leave it like a basic cloud. So we are just going to add a little bit more darkness to the base just to give it a little bit more depth and just some more detail since this is the only thing that we are painting. So I'm just going to go around in a circular motion because I want it to feel fluffy. I want it to feel like a cloud. I don't want it to feel like this is going to be very um, flat. So you can kind of just play around with it. You don't have to go in a specific pattern. It probably would look better if there's more. Um, if there's not a pattern to it. And so just in a circular motion, going up and down in different areas, some places be less or others it's going to be thicker and then i'm going to rinse
rinse off my brush and get it with a lot of water. Not to where it's going to pool, but just enough to kind of blend this out up. Because I don't want it to be also, again, like I said, I didn't want it to be stiff. This is going to create some blooming, which I think with a cloud is going to look very nice. Putting more water on my brush just to keep blending this. Clouds look very uneven and this is going to help it have that uneven look where the sun might be coming through in other areas where there's a shadow more on the bottom. This is really going to help it have that look. I'm just going to have a little bit more right here. It's okay if it kind of curves into this inside of the cloud, softening up some of my harsh lines right there. Just touching the tops the top. <laughs> very lightly. When I did that, I was very, like, barely even touching the page with the tip of my brush. And you can just kind of play around with it. But that is it. There you have a watercolor cloud. I did want to mention before I go that this is great practice for wet for the wet on wet technique, for figuring out your water paint ratio. This it doesn't take long at all, and it is just an absolutely great beginner practice that you can do, and you can actually feel like you've painted something. You're not just practicing on a circle, you're actually practicing on an actual object. So this would be a great practice if you were completely new to watercolor and you want to um, get better at uh, your water paint ratio, your wet on wet technique, and a little bit on your wet on dry technique, and then blending as well. It just has a ton of great techniques in this that you can use to enhance your watercolor skills. Thanks for painting along with me today. I hope you learned something new and found this video enjoyable. I know I said this at the beginning of the video, but click that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. I hope to see you in future videos. Bye!